this is some more progress that I've gotten done on the frame swap on my 1948 Willie CJ2A Grandpa's Jeep. I got my new cross member slash body mount brackets mounted on this frame. Um, this is where the cross member bolts under here and the body bolts on top here. I've had several comments or questions of why I would go back to the CJ2A cross mount style mounting or cross member mounting when the M38 and the CJ3A have a kind of a better uh, lower profile cross member. And that's an excellent question. If I was starting from scratch, I probably would go with the original M38 style cross member. But this frame did not come with the cross member. And I have some modifications that I've made to this Jeep that need this cross member mounting bracket in order to use them. And I'll show you what they are. First off, I beat these cross members a lot. This is like one of my, right here is one of my cross members that I've broken. You can see it's all bent and mangled underneath. It's all pushed out of shape and bent up. You also, you also can see that it's, I mean, it's, it's fairly thick steel, but it's not all that strong. So uh, after I bent or mangled two or three of these cross members or broke them, I, I got a fresh one and then we reinforce it. If you can see right here, this, this is a reinforcement across this side. There's one on this side. Now I'll turn this over and show you. We've also reinforced it on the bottom here and here, here. There's a, a piece in here that makes it stronger and another piece in there. So this cross member that I've been using is super strong. And it's taken just the same beating as these other ones, and it's not bent or out of shape at all. Okay? I'm just going to use this broken piece to show you how this cross member mounts in here. It mounts up under here like this. Okay? Where the CJ3A cross member just has, has a, a, these ears aren't here. It goes gradually up, and there's two holes right here that just bolt straight on so these ears don't hang down and get in the way and catch rocks. But the way I've kind of gotten around that is I've built this skid plate thing that I've been using for years now that also, oh, it's a little heavy, mounts on here and mounts on here like this. So that's part of my skid plate to correct, to protect the cross member. So that's why, that's why I'm, I'm sticking with this CJ2A style cross member and body mount rather than going with the, the 3A style, which was another one of these mounted here and then just bolting onto the bottom of the frame and there's two holes under there it could just bolt onto. That's where I'm at, putting this reinforced cross member on here now. So my neighbor across the street in that house over there is a machinist. And he heard me struggling and came over to see what was going on. And he suggested that I set up my drill press like this, kind of like a poor man's line boring machine. It's clamped onto the frame there. And uh, I used that to uh, give some mechanical advantage to my drilling and I finally, finally have got it through. So I'm just going to take the drill press off, put it back together to its normal configuration and then I can, uh, I'm going to clean up this mess first and then I'm going to put this axle underneath the frame. Well, I've got a roller now for an axle in, for axle in, got the brake lines in and, and uh, the brakes bled. Um, Wires are sort of temporarily run. Need to get the body on to finish running the wires. Next job is to get this lump between those rails. Here we go. Okay, I got it lifted up and in between the rails. Just got to twist it around a little bit and level it out a little bit with that hand crank there. 
I crank this and it'll move the chain back and, and level the motor out some, hopefully. So, next picture should be it sitting, sitting on its mount. The engine's all in and bolted down. I still got a lot of things to hook up, a lot of detailed things to connect and stuff, but it's moving along now. Gonna hopefully soon be able to start marrying that half up with this half. Meanwhile, we're still trying to get some of the body panel straightened around. This is the fender that you saw my cousin Don pounding on in another video. I'll show you a little clip of that. Um, but my friend Dave Delight, uh, I've been working for him part time in his Jeep restoration shop, and he's said that he would help me fix this uh, fender up and put a new brace on it. So this is kind of, this is the before. This is all rotted out. We we got some of the brace off. Don and I did. You know, da Dave's going to help me get it. Uh, yeah, I got it. Fixed and the new brace put in. Let's put this in to show, just to remind you how Don was trying to help me straighten it out. So Dave made this patch out of an old sign that has the perfect lip on it right down here to match. So he's pinning it in going to stitch it in here short. Dave's tacking it in now after we got it all lined out. I want to thank you for following along with me on this and uh, I'm going to show some more uh, pictures later on of how Dave finished up with the brace on this. We're still working on it, so it'll be done sometime in a week or two.